So, uh, hi everyone. Uh, it's really great to be here. Uh, really honored to be uh, sharing uh, some stories about participation today. Um, I've been working for the past four years to help introduce a product called Firefox out to the world. Um, it's a web browser. Uh, we've been pretty successful. We think we have about 300 million people using Firefox all over the world. That's a browser of choice for about 23, 24% of the world now. We still have some work to do, some pockets of resistance, some educational opportunities. Fox News um, called us the most popular search engine after Microsoft and Apple recently. <laughs> uh, I guess that's part for the course. So uh, Mozilla, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, is a, we're a software company built on open source. We're also wholly owned by a 501c3 nonprofit foundation. Our entire reason for existence is to make the web better. And we do that by providing a product that competes with the best uh, products from Microsoft, Apple, and Google. While we have 250 employees, um, it's still the case that over 40% of our code base for Firefox comes from volunteers. These are people who don't work for us. Um, and uh, in addition to a testing community, we have over 300 million users worldwide who help us spread the word. So today I'm going to talk about participation. And in our context, participation came out of necessity. When Firefox 1.0 was shipped in 2004, it was 15 engineers at a windowless bunker. We literally didn't let them leave the room until they were ready to ship. So we put out a call to um, a, uh, our community. There was already a fan base even before we shipped 1.0. And a PR volunteer from Minnesota came up with the idea to run a fundraising drive online and the initial goal was to raise enough money to do a, a full page ad in the New York Times. In two weeks, the community came together. 10,000 people doubled the uh, donation target. We were able to run a uh, two page spread. And in addition to the one million impressions that we got of the ad itself, drove about 10 million um, uh, impressions due to media coverage of the campaign. So that was a real great way to inaugurate things. And from that, one of the first lessons that we learned about participation is that it's most effective when you push decision making out to the edges where the action is happening. This comes from a set of um, house rules that we've built up over the years through uh, um, building an open source software project. You start with high agreement, very explicit agreement about what the shared values are for the project. You let people know what these values are and then allow people to come in. Then you push decision making out to what we call module owners. These are people who are responsible initially for things like the way the fonts looked. Um, they include things now like marketing, PR, and so on. And you recognize that individual groups are going to develop their own styles of working. The key thing, we think, is that uh, even though decision making happens outside the official organization, people stay informed. Second insight that I want to share with you is that it's our view that surprise is overrated. We think that surprise is actually the opposite of engagement. And for true participation to happen, you want people to have many different ways to know uh, what's going on. What you see here are some pictures from uh, uh, an experiment that some computer science students did in 2006. They wanted to build the world's biggest Firefox logo. So they rallied their friends on wikis, on IRC, on IM, and they pulled it off. This is a wheat field in Ashland, Oregon. Uh, and the point of this story is that by acting in the open, they were able to get help from um, people that you wouldn't have expected to help. Uh, our friends at Google arranged a high-res flyover. This is now memorialized on Google Maps. Just go ahead and search for Firefox Crop Circle. The point of this, though, again, is to say that, uh, in our view, uh, act to engage, increase the inner circle of participation, and great things can happen. The last insight I'll share with you is that um, what we've, at this stage, evolved to is trying to deliver platforms and systems that allow people to participate and to make it easier for them to help us. Our main community marketing portal is a site called Spread Firefox. 250,000 registered members, lots of discussion, lots of ideas. The primary venue where we do um, campaigns like this one for Firefox 3 last year, where we invited our community to join us in helping to set a brand new Guinness World Record for the most software downloaded in 24 hours. We did it. Uh, it was a really fantastic experience. Uh, and as I said, I think. Um, uh, as we've matured as an organization, we're really looking at ways to uh, allow people to, 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 to do more uh, and for us to just provide them the assets that they need. So in 2009, um, uh, this quote is from a French photographer who just recently re uh, released a documentary on YouTube called Home, highly recommended. 
I firmly believe that in this era, it's way too late for us to be pessimists. Let's figure out ways that we can help change the world for the better. And for this group, um, you know, I, I think the unspoken fear for some people in this room is that the rise of uh, consumer-generated content, the rise of the commons, obviates the need for people with your skills. And I think the exact opposite is the case. There's so much that people who are creative, people who can design, can do to help move the story forward for all of us. We can do that because in a networked environment, the cost of connecting with people approaches zero. It's a great, great beauty of the internet. What I think it requires, though, is for each of us to add to that basket of skills and experience and wisdom that we bring that makes us who we are uniquely, and add to that the desire to teach and bring to it the beginner's mind of the student, because uh, I think that combination is just completely impactful and opens up participation beyond anything you can imagine. So that's my talk. Thank you.